Cheeseburger in Paradise came to us and, and said we need a brand, but we also need a partner who's nimble, who's nimble enough to, uh, you know, if you will, wait tables and bus tables, you know, at the same pace that we do. It's translated really well in social media because social media is an always on 24-7 environment. So when the recession hit, as you can imagine, every consumer and diner in America paired back and it became hand-to-hand -hand combat in the casual dining category. Everybody was offering coupons, two for one this, uh, come in, I order a glass of water, get a free meal. I mean, it was unbelievable. Well, in social media, there's democracy. And, and uh, that, that was where we realized early on that Cheeseburger in Paradise could compete and win as long as we were providing the content that connected with our uh, core guests. Our big idea has always been predicated on standing out, being smarter, making sure that, that um, the visual cues, the music we use, the promotions we run, the content we deliver, it's like nothing anybody else has ever seen before. From flock mobs in Wrigley Field to photo contests with Molly the Flamingo, we do things that remind people that, yeah, you can get that daily dose of paradise at Cheeseburger in Paradise. You can't pick up a marketing publication these days and not see some naysayer you know, crit criticizing social media. What does it matter? I mean, is there any value? Yeah, there's value in it. There's value in being able to say, my circle of people who love my brand has grown 360% over the last year. There's great value in knowing that our Island Hopper loyalty program has grown from uh, just 10,000 to well over 100,000 people. It all wraps up to one metric though that matters, and that metric is sales. And Cheeseburger in Paradise estimates that with our help, social media activities generated over $1 million in sales last year.